In this episode, we're exploring an abandoned convent that dates back to 1860. The facility was once home to a convent, school, chapel, and daycare. Over the years, the convent's population declined and the buildings began to deteriorate. The general minister said the buildings were structurally inadequate and costs to maintain the campus became prohibitive. The congregation moved to a different location in 2012 and their old campus was left vacant. For 150 years, this property was dedicated to the religious duties of the nuns, but has since been forgotten and allowed to decay. Join us as we explore. Do you get random phone calls, text messages, and emails from spammers? The sponsor of this portion of today's video, Incogni, helps you get rid of that. Thousands of companies are collecting, aggregating, and trading your personal data without you knowing. These companies are buying and selling data like your full name, email, phone number, home address, and social security number. Information you don't want out there. Legally, you have the right to request that these data brokers delete what information they have about you but it would be a huge undertaking to email the thousands of brokers individually. Incogni does the messy work for you, automatically. Incogni helps you protect your privacy and take your personal data off the market by reaching out to data brokers on your behalf, requesting your personal data removal, and dealing with their objections. Once you grant Incogni the right to send deletion requests, it goes to work scanning all of the brokers that might have your information. Within just a few days, Incogni was able to confirm that 24 brokers have deleted my information. With a yearly subscription, Incogni is constantly monitoring these brokers, making sure you don't end up back in the system. Go to incogni.com slash properpeople and use code properpeople to get 60% off an annual plan. This thing is slippery. There's a nice wooden staircase. Wow, there's a lot of wood in here. All the ceilings. Yeah, this is definitely a very old building, but can already tell it's been through a lot of modernization. Nice fireplaces. There's beautiful tiling around this fireplace. And then you just have carpet going right up to the edge of it. It's probably even more nice tiling underneath that. Oh wow, here's the main entrance for this building I'm assuming. And then there's this mural above the doors. Yeah, I think this was painted on a canvas that's up here. You can see there's a signature on the bottom right. It says 1920. It's kind of sad how many of our videos lately turn into just complaining about how nice buildings have been modernized shittily. Mm -hmm. Like, it really is a big problem. Modernization is just so bad and it plagues like every historic building it seems. This is some ugly wallpaper. <laughs> Jeez. It really is a crime what gets done to some historic buildings. This place has been around since the 1800s, he said. Yeah. Like 100 wow. years or something. Wow, this is set very 70s in this room. Look, there's a different 
wall paneling above the drop ceiling. Wow. So that was the older wall that paneling. That looks like and then they replaced maybe 30s, it. 40s. This looks like 70s. Yeah, that's pressed tin. Yeah. <laughs> Just make the ceilings lower, build more walls, make the buildings more claustrophobic. It's always what happens. It's cheaper if you have lower ceilings. Or heating. But things like nice... Uh, Stairwell railings, those are hard to ruin. These are some very skinny but tall hallways. At least they didn't put drop ceiling over That's the wood true. paneled ceiling. Yeah. It's a big room out here. This arch doorway. And this was an extension. This arch here was originally an exterior door. And they kept the original detail around it. Wow. But that was an exterior door. What's in this pile over here? Are those simunition rounds? Police training is going on here, I guess. Yeah, nine millimeter training rounds. Another nice fireplace. These shelves are weird though. There's literally a door behind them. Yeah. They probably just strange. would have connected to the other room at one point. Yeah. Then they put shelves in. Now this hallway feels like an original Check space. these out. <laughs> Since they put the extension on, these windows just became shelves also. <laughs> now there's no windows in these rooms. There's still a nice pressed tin ceiling in here though. There is. Is this like booby trap shit? Yeah, what the hell is this? What in tarnation? There's also a basement. We'll yeah. have to check that out at some point. This stairwell feels very industrial to me. It does. The way these handrails are, I feel like I'm gonna factory. They probably just added it because they needed an elevator and fire staircase or something. So they put this old elevator shaft however long ago. Yeah, these are built like old fire doors too. Yeah. These rooms seem more like bedrooms now. Yeah. This closet, yeah. Yeah, we're already in the bedroom area. So this is where the nuns stayed. The wooden staircase is nice. I wonder if we'll find one of these with the actual handset on it, because this is an old looking phone. Just an internal phone too. You just press where you want to call. Mm -hmm. That's a corridor. Let's check out this building first and then we can go down that corridor. It's a big room. Holy shit, this place is kind of big. Looks almost like a hospital from the outside. How many floors are there? Seems to be quite a few. <laughs> there's three, and then there's one more above it, okay. They're all gonna be empty. Probably. 
Wait, this place seems pretty clear out. Old looking bathroom floors. Police training. Typical cops. He's got his hands up. He may still shoot him. His hands aren't up high enough. Look how close his gun is. <laughs> this room is so 70s, it's crazy. Yo, what the fuck is this? It's literally taped to the chair. Who is, is that Kamala Harris? It, yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, this is strange. It's taped to the chair, and then there's just a bunch of children's toys. And I'm sure there are targets all over. Yeah, I just noticed on the wall you can see all the dents from where the simunition hit. Yeah, some of them are colored because they had marker rounds. Yeah. Oh, there's more of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just gun or coffee. <laughs> Training cops to actually be able to tell the difference between a gun and a mug of coffee. It's because they don't want you to remember their face. Yeah. Not to shoot their face. They don't want you to remember what This room's kind of interesting. Looks like lockers for robes. I think scrappers got at the radiators in here. Yeah, it looks like it. Let's see what this chapel looks like. We've got some nice stained glass. Oh, wow. This is pretty nice. It's really dark, but yeah, the ceilings are real tall. Yeah, this is definitely the nicest thing in here. It's hard to ruin a church with yeah. modernization. The one in Albany is kind of ruined. Which one? Kenwood. The church itself? Yeah, they stripped everything out. Mm. All the lights are gone, the glass is gone. They removed the big um, murals behind the altar. Is this church, this chapel is completely intact. Even the statues are there. We've got a big pipe organ behind us. You can see this is the uh, part of the, you know, compression system that would blow the air through. These are like different whistles under here. I mean, these isn't are a pipe organ just a bunch of whistles well, these are wooden, that are tuned? Wooden whistles. Probably had a different tone. Yeah. And then the metal pipes up here. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, whist they're straight whistles. Should I get a big one? Yeah. Here with this one. This one's a nice size. <laughs> Oh my god, you sound like a steamboat. <laughs> That's supposed to happen. He's not breaking anything. And we're going to put it back for those who will say this is vandalism. You just got a whistle. Is there even enough wind in your lungs to like power this one? <laughs> when you need to lay it down. Oh. 
Und dann so Basie. Das ist immer dieser Gedeon. Okay. You can feel the bass yeah. note it makes, though. I don't understand how this type of ceiling works from a structural standpoint. It's Cause like presumably so the weight yeah. is on this arch, but then this arch comes down to well, here. Sure so how does it transfer the no. load sideways? There's probably supports on each end here and a huge beam here. And then that they have the tech. The they had the technology to make like a huge beam yeah, that sure long in eighteen whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I don't know. What about the sixteen hundred churches that are huge in Europe? Yeah, but do you see those types of columns? Like normally you'd see a column coming down yeah. from this to support the actual weight of this arch. This beam is definitely supported by ends. <laughs> I just want to know like the actual engineering behind this, like what load is being supported where. Yeah. Let's head down to the main level. This structure doesn't even go to the end. It has the cross in it, so it's not fully supported on the ends. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know how it works. I think it's called flying buttresses. Yeah. They end like that. And then, and then. Sanctus, sanctus, sanctus. window back there is really nice. Lots wow. of blues and reds. That's cool. What do you think was in here? It's like a little lock box. It's, it's coming treasure. out of the wall though. It's a treasure. <laughs> oh, you know what? I've been to church before. That's where they keep the, um, the body of Christ, little pieces of bread, I think. Seriously? I'm not even joking. Like I think years ago when I used to go to church, that was, they had a little box back there. Christ is in the box. The body of Christ was in there. Okay. All right, you want to go check out that entire other more modern section of the building? Yeah, sure. Okay. Sometimes the more modern sections of the building end up looking older because they were less modernized. Because they didn't need to be modernized as much. 
Yeah, this might not even be the original building because the the building on the opposite side with the copper looking roof tiles, that might be even older. I don't know. True. Here's right where we first came in at. It's like we're getting transported to a different decade right yeah. now. Let's see, do we go down this hallway? This looks like or a kitchen. Here? It's a very long and skinny kitchen if it is one. It is a kitchen. A lot of scrapping's been going Look on at the in here. the ceiling, above the drop ceiling. That's like yeah, that looks 70s, kind of cool. 80s. Like Reminds me of the DC Metro. Yeah, I've seen <laughs> a ton of buildings from that era that have that type of molded concrete. Yeah, DC Metro is like late 60s, 70s too. Guess I'll just look over here. Old wooden freezer door. Yep. Oh man, this room is kind of lame. Yeah. I saw it from these the outside, windows. The way these windows were. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a little chapel or something. Just a square with drop ceiling. Darn. Wow, a lot of scrapping has been going on in here. Oh, here's a chapel. Oh, really? Yeah. This drop ceiling was definitely added. <laughs> So that top row of stained glass squares gets cut off. This is such a sad chapel compared to the other one. Yeah. <laughs> Should we see what's above the drop ceiling? Just another ceiling. If you only saw this, you'd probably think we were in a pretty sweet church right now. Until you zoom out. Not a great chapel. <laughs> I'm guessing this was the chapel for like the school, like children or something. Or casual, you know. I would guess for the school. Yeah, something less important. are blown out oh there's one of these <laughs> hmm. this could have been the medical building yeah even. like the whole thing let's find out if this is all hospital or just a section of it this would be a lot of hospital if it was all yeah it's like a little closet thing off to the side. These look like more bedrooms. Okay. Very depressing bedrooms if they're not right, but yeah. Yeah. I just think they needed more space to put nuns, so yeah, here. Here's the sister's name. Wow. Windows up there too. More curtains. This whole area could be curtained off. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was. 
Did have a curtain. Maybe it was more like a senior assisted living facility for like the older sisters. Like, this looks so much like a hospital. Yeah. It's Maybe has... it's a little bit narrow because you can't fit a stretcher. This is probably easily. assisted living for old nuns. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not a normal bed. That is definitely a hospital bed. So it would have been like long term care. Mm -hmm. Since they're hospital rooms, but they are clearly assigned. Long term. This room has a bed set up. The showers are kind of nice. It's a real marble that somebody busted open to get to the pipes. Well, this green roof building over here looks a lot more promising. The one we just did. Yeah, so this one is one of the old buildings. We should head over there. Connects on the first floor. Okay. And there's that whole extension attached to it that way too. This looks like a tunnel. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty long. Must cover the whole facility. Let's go this way. That's in the direction of the uh, green roof building that we want to check. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that sounds like steam. Yeah. And it's warm slightly, right? Or am I imagining that? I think it's just water running through the pipes. But it does okay. sound like steam. Yeah, it's not warm. There's smoke detectors. These railings are pretty nice. This is an old school building. I have a feeling this is gonna be the best building here. It was probably abandoned the longest. I mean, there's active pipes and there's smoke detectors beeping, but... True. This looks like a big room. Yeah, we hit the drop ceiling. Why is there a balcony for this room, though? I don't know. I think it was like a gymnasium? That's what it feels like it should be. This is like a spectator area. Powers unite the fury. The fury of the nuns, right? There's like cheerleading moves drawn on the polos here. Yeah, I guess it was a dance studio thing. <laughs> We're like kind of back in the basement down here. What is this little drawing here? Got penguins on it. That looks horribly depressing for those penguins. Like the last of their ice is about to melt. One of them smoking a cigar. Mm -hmm. This room feels very old to me. These cabinets are awesome. Here's the uh, exterior door of that building. Yep. God, that looks so awful seeing that drop ceiling right there. Oh, here's a the theater. Ooh. I swear to God, if they put drop ceiling in it on a slice. No, but there's a tag on the stage. Damn. Chandeliers are gone. That's new. Wait, is it actually? From the pictures I've seen. The hand-painted letters on the rows for the seats, that looks pretty old. 
They replaced the original windows at one point with glass bricks and slatted windows. I think it looks nicer looking this way because of the decayed paint it's mostly in the back of the room. notice something about these rows. They go L M N O P Q Q 2. Makes perfect sense. classroom. Do you think these up here were uh, skylights at one point? Definitely, you can see the glass still. Yeah. You think where all the white is used to be a skylight? Mm, probably not. It's on the wall too, but I don't know. I feel like I it's way too one plain. One measly row of seats up here. Yeah. Too. I feel like the theater probably kept going. Probably. Back here. I don't know, they do have these nice wood doors here. Yeah. Who knows? It's strange. It has been almost a decade since any news about the property has been published. There were once talks to transform the historic buildings into unique apartments. However, no progress has been made. For the time being, it looks like the property will continue to decay. <laughs>